Great espresso is so hard to find when you travel. Even when you find a place that has an amazing machine and all the right equipment, they still can find different ways to ruin it. Sometimes they'll use old coffee, not know how to tamp it correctly, or just plain not even care and press the button. So at the end of the summer, I took a trip to Florida to see Artemis and some friends and family and alleviate this issue. I took along with me a special espresso machine, the Decent. This is a special episode for a few reasons. One, I'm on vacation. I'm enjoying Florida, getting to see friends and family, driving the Corvette for over 24 hours. I did get to see Atlantis because we weren't able to really go and see a rocket launch, spend about three hours in traffic. Oh my goodness, that was crazy. Second reason is I'm filming with a red Epic Dragon. It is an amazing 6K camera. Anybody knows anything about this, 16 and a half stops. It is just magic. And that's what I'm being filmed on right now. Hoping to get one of these soon, but this is not my own. So huge, huge thanks to Glenn for letting me borrow this for this shoot. And three, which is the reason we're here today, is I got to take a decent espresso machine on the road with me for a very fun on the road test. How easy is it to take it from your house and pack it up and bring it with you to another location? I figured since the decent came with its own suitcase, it must travel easily. Well, yes and no. The suitcase holds the espresso machine and many accessories fairly easily, but not the grinder or water filtration, sadly. I brought the Barazza 270 because it's a little lighter and smaller than the compact espresso grinder we use at Third Wave Water. I'm always looking for new coffee, so I picked up some local coffee and local water, filtered it, mixed in a little Third Wave Water, then poured the results into the water reservoir. So was the decent espresso machine portable enough for the trip? Definitely. And it's not just a great espresso machine, it's like the perfect calibrated piece of lab equipment to create a shot of espresso. Next trip I'll swap out the 270 for a modified Barazza Vario for a little better grind distribution and have a few extra helpful tools as well in a small assistant espresso suitcase. I wish I could bring the Lamar Zucco GS3 just as easily in my next trip, but it weighs in at a spry 72 pounds, so that one won't be easily lifted into the Corvette. Thank you so much for joining. Please leave any questions or comments below, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.